state your full name. Natalie Michelle Vasquez. All right, Ms. Vasquez, are you a husband or? Okay, uh, just to let you know, your husband's in the courtroom. Oh, okay. Okay, um, do you still live on Pine Road? No, I don't. I just moved to the Elks Lodge in Payson. All right. So that address is no good anymore? No. Okay. No, I don't know the address of the Elks Lodge either. I literally just was like moving yesterday just like across the street. <laughs> All right. Do you know the, Do you know the address? Okay. So the court needs to have that address. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, do you live together? Okay. Okay. It's okay. So what you'll need to do is, when you're released from custody, is report to the court the address. You need to go independently and find out where what that address is that you're staying at, and report that to the court. I'll give you 24 hours to do that. Okay. So tomorrow is the latest. So today would be better. Tomorrow is the latest. Um, your phone number ends in 6881. Do you have an email address? Do you have an email address? Uh, yeah. At All right, so that's at Gmail. Uh, the B, B as in Vasquez. Oh, um, B instead of the letter B, it's a V as in Victor. Yeah, V as in Victor. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, that makes sense. All right, uh, so the state's alleging a driving suspended, revoked, or canceled violation on you. You have the right to remain silent, right to counsel, and right to trial. I have scheduled you for an arraignment on 6-5 of 2024 at 9 o'clock in the morning. The arraignment is where you'll need to be prepared to plead guilty, not guilty, or no contest to those charges. Depending on how you plead will be what happens next with the court proceeding. Each of those options of what happens if you make that plea will be explained to you as well as the penalty range for the charge. Your release conditions are as follows. Obey all orders of the court. Do not commit any crimes. Notify the court immediately if your address changes or report to the court when you find out what your address is. Do not leave the state of Arizona without permission of the court. Do not drive a uh, vehicle on public roadways unless licensed to do so. And again, you have 24 hours to report your address. To the court once you find out what it is. <clears throat> I'm also going to assign you to pretrial services. So what that is, is once you're released from custody, you need to contact their probation department. You're not on probation, but you are on release conditions. They're going to monitor you between now and your next court date until the case is ended to make sure you're complying with the release conditions that I provided. Make sure that you're going to the court um, uh, on your court dates. If you fail to report to them, they'll prepare a report for us, and we can issue a warrant for your arrest. Do you understand that? Okay, so you'll have a name and, and phone number who to call on your probation uh, pretrial services. So if you can comply with those orders and you'll show up to court as ordered, then I'm gonna release you on your own recognizance. You can do both of those. Okay. All right, and I'll be waiting for the report, uh, for you to report to the court either today or tomorrow on what your address is, since you don't know what do it I, is. Do I have to physically come into the court or can I just call? No, you can call us to tell us who your name, we'll look up the case and Provide your current address. That'll be fine. Okay, so I'll release you on your own recognizance. I'll send your husband across the street. It'll take about 15, 20 minutes, depending on how busy the detention staff is. Thank you all very yes. much. I appreciate it. All right, any questions? No, sir. Thank okay. you very much. Sheriff's office is just directly across the street here. Thank you, sir. Yep. Come on up to 
Thank you, Jack. Huh? This is the last one. Come on up here. Good. I see Jack. Can you state your name, sir? All right. Do you still live on Nixon Road? Yes, sir. Do you have an email address? Is your phone number in in 4749? No, sir. What is your phone number? 517-627, or excuse me, 626-0749. Okay, thank you. The state's alleging four charges of aggravated assault against you. On those charges, you have the right to remain silent, right to counsel, and right to trial. I've scheduled you for a preliminary hearing on 6-4 of 2024 at 3 o'clock p.m. The preliminary hearing is a hearing that is to determine if there's probable cause to charge you with those crimes. That'll be done uh, by a presentation from the prosecutor or state representative, either to a judge. Okay. Okay. All right. There's an $8,000 bond in place on you. You're to obey all orders of the court. You notify the court immediately if your address changes. Do not leave the state of Arizona without permission of the court. Do not commit any crimes. Do the state of Arizona, so don't let me out. Uh, do not contact the victims in any manner. Uh, do not go near the location of the alleged offense unless there's a medical necessity. Uh, being that you're held in custody, uh, you have the right to a court-appointed attorney if you cannot afford one. Okay. Okay, okay I'll refuse the uh, court-appointed attorney. And um, well, that'll be all then. Your paperwork will be sent to the detention staff. All right, you want to send to okay, Send it yeah, to you? Fine. All right, sounds good. Yeah. Thank you.